Hey everybody, this is Renee with Two Chatty Chicks and as you can see from the sign, I am up here at Midtown Vintage Market on 105 North Rodney Parham here in Little Rock and uh, I had given y'all kind of a little sneak peek yesterday of uh, the columns that I was going to be doing a patina finish on so I'm going to turn this around so that y'all can see. I've started one and what I'm gonna do, I wanna get up close so that y'all can kinda see a little bit of the detail. Is that not just really the coolest finish? It looks really old. This is the one side over here. And so, what, and my battery is about to go dead, so this will be kinda fast. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it the, um, camera in the holder because I need to lean the pillar over and then that way y'all can see what I'm doing. So I just want to make sure I don't drop it because it is kind of heavy. And as you can see, oh man, the sun is going to be a problem. I'll get y'all up here where you can see. I hope you can see what the sun but as you can see I have already uh, yesterday I put on the uh, the orange primer and what that is is the primer stops the oxidation process because the metal smith uh, paints have metal particles in them and whenever the uh, patina sprays like this one hits the paint then it oxidizes, causes an oxidization and this is how you get the green and the turquoise because I have a green spray uh, patina finish and then we have the turquoise patina and what I'm using is I came back with also the gray primer and I just kind of and you're gonna laugh whenever you see my brush it looks really bad doesn't it but hey it worked and I just pounced it on in all the areas because I didn't want that much of that color showing through. I really wished I could get y'all up higher or that you could see. Let me try and raise this up just a little bit. Okay, I didn't think about the sun being an issue out here outside, but it's just too nice to work inside and I didn't want to carry these heavy things in. But I'm gonna show y'all, I used the Mercury Metal Smith paint. After I did the primer and I let it dry, I done the orange first, then I came back with the gray, and then I'm just taking my Mercury and I'm just kind of pouncing it around like so. And also you wanna make sure that you stir the, or shake it really well because the metal particles that are in the paint will settle to the bottom and that is what causes the oxidation process. So you want to make sure that you keep that stirred. And so then what I do is I'll take both of the sprays and I'll kind of alternate like so. And this has actually changed within just the last five minutes. Um, now I'm gonna show you something that's even really cool. Is there is a powder, a patina powder. And this one is the bronze. And, no, I'm sorry, this one is the bronze and copper. This is the copper and the darker one is the bronze. And you take just a little bit and you can just sprinkle it and see the effect that it gives. You can kind of make it look like a marble effect. Okay, I'll do just a little bit of the bronze. your spray see what it does to the copper in that cool 
and it starts oxidizing and it and it's a, a faster finish and the reason I kind of laid the, the column down like this is so that it would kind of give a running effect and whenever I get it to the point that I want then I'll stand it up But I really think it is one of the fascinating finishes to sit and watch as it oxidizes. But I, I had promised y'all that I would uh, show y'all how to do that. So I wanted to um, do that before I got finished. And I've still got another whole one to do. And I just don't want my battery to go dead while I'm right in the middle. But uh, next week, I'm going to be doing some chalk couture. I'm going to be revealing some new stuff that I'm getting from Prima. So I'm really excited about that. So y'all have a blessed weekend. And I will see y'all later. And I'll do more in-depth on this later whenever I'm at home. And if you want to learn more about Miss Lillian's products, hop over to Miss Lillian's Paint University and ask to join. And there's a lot of information in there. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye, y'all.